Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Simple Life of Juline. If you're new here, my name is Juline, as you can see from my channel. Just a little insight to my channel here on Simple Life of Juline. I do beauty, fashion, DIY, vlog, being a mom, lifestyle, whatever you want, we got it here. If there is something that you are looking for or you have question, I have answer. Leave me a comment down below and I will sure to get back to you. If you guys like what you see and you would love to join the Simple Fam, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, mash up that box side notification bell. That way you are always in the know whenever I upload. Yes, now that I got all of that out of the way, because here we keep it simple and we keep it moving. Today, video is gonna be about period. Yes. If you would not like to hear about period, menstruation, what the other word would I call it? bleeding, that time of the month, your rag, female thingy, whatever you might call that thing, at the end of the day, it is menstruation. If you don't like to talk about menstruation, you don't like to hear about blood, you don't like to think about it, or whatever, you have your belief and whatever, I totally understand, you can kindly exit Juline class. Yes. Don't want to offend anybody, but I just want to get myself across for certain things. So now that I get out of the way, let's get into the video. Alright, so back to the video. So one of the reasons why I decided to do a video on menstruation or period, time of the month, whatever you guys want to call it, I'm going to just call it, all right? Do it as period. So, may I just call it period, period. If they have a problem with the period, then they have a problem with the period. Take it up with the period. Don't take it up with me, okay? I have nothing to do with it. So, as I said, back to what I was trying to say, the reason why I did, I want to do a video on period is because I feel there's a lot of young girls out there that don't know what to do when they have their period or how to think about period or what they should feel or certain things when it comes to period. And one of the reasons why I'm saying that is a lot of us as mothers don't like to talk to our kids about period. It's I think a lot of us look at it the same way when it comes to talking to our kids about sex, talking to our son about sex or all these stuff. We become scared and kind of like close-knit when it comes to certain things and we expect our kids to go out there to like school or friends or other people to kind of explain to them what period is about and what they should expect and what they should do when they do have their period and so on and so forth so on and so forth okay so i will give my backstory to the reason why i wanted to touch on this a lot of people when i'm talking about my story it's nothing for you to be like oh i feel so petty no it's just me want to share my story so i can reach someone out there it could be a girl that's going through the same thing or went through the same thing or maybe afraid to talk about period so what I'm trying to say is, I remember when I was little, I used to, at my school, they used to talk about period. So you used to be a certain time of the year, they would, the pad company will send their promo to our school and the teacher will talk to us about period so I guess it's the same thing as what they have here in Canada um, sex ed but in Jamaica we had it in class where they talked to us about period woman cycles sex and all those stuff so one of the thing is they used to at that time they used to come and talk to us about period and they used to give us pat boys used to laugh and call it chief bread 
or, or, or whatever they wanted to call it was the funniest thing they used to tell us that bread we have uh, uh, because back in those days pan was not thin like these little things they were like big like seriously you think you're wearing something else underneath down there you know but that's a different story so I remember like I used to save those pads whenever they give us so at the time now the first time I experienced my period I was 12 I remember it as plain as day I my dad well I live with my dad so my dad was a single mom slash dad he raised me and my brother and I was I lived with him so he used to say you know okay you're 12 pretty soon you're gonna see your he never used to call it period he said you know you're soon gonna see your woman thing and you know you're gonna you're gonna bleed and whatever but he used to cuss and say you know what this is the time you know I wish your, your mother so he used to talk I wish your mother there you know, so she can't talk to you about them sitting there no car them sitting there nothing man to talk to no woman about so what I'm trying to say he's trying to tell me is that this is not something that a man should be educating a woman on like this should be the, on the mother for the mother to be explaining this new change that's going to be happening pretty soon in a woman life so whenever he, my dad used to talk about it I used to feel like uncomfortable because he's like a man as much as I was very close to my dad it was kind of weird when it comes to like woman stuff because I was like I don't want to talk to my dad about period like that's gross like you know because you know the teacher in school to say that something that you keep secret is period is kind of like that big moment in a woman woman life so when he used to talk, he used to blow it off and, and stuff and thing. And he's like, you know, when you have a period, you can come to me, make your money, and you go buy the pad and whatever. So I remember now, my dad used to work out of town. So he, he would leave me with the neighbor. So he asked the neighbor now to babysit me. So he and my brother went to town. He went to go do some work. And I'm the bed dad. I always say, you know, it's not good to have girl child around on work site and whatever. So he would leave me with the neighbor. So I remember I was at the neighbor and my stomach was feeling weird. Like it was just that weird look of feeling. Like, you know, I guess at that time I didn't understand it was cramp. But I was feeling weird and I was like, oh, why do I feel weird? So then all of a sudden now I wanted to pee. Back in Jamaica, as I said, you guys may not know this up here. You guys may look at it different. Look, piss in a in a toilet. There in Jamaica, we piss behind a um, house or behind bush or wherever you can catch it. You piss. So I decided to go pee behind the the neighbor house. So when I was peeing now, I looked down and there was like blood. And I was like, oh my God, like what's wrong with me? Am I dying? Like I didn't even think of it at that moment to say, oh my God, my period is here. No, I was thinking like, oh my God, I I'm dying. I'm bleeding down there, like I'm dying. And then it, I had on like a white polka dot dress. So there was some on my dress. So I was freaking out now because I'm at the neighbor. I'm like, I don't want to go tell her like, oh my God, I'm bleeding or whatever. So because my house is attached, not really attached her, her um, my house is on the beside the neighbor house I decided now to tell the neighbor hey I'm gonna go have a shower because normally you do so they're like okay fine go ahead so right I was going to the gate now to go over my house to go shower I look I see my dad and my brother coming out so my dad is like hey what's up so I said I said hi and then he's like, oh, what are you doing? I said, oh, I was going home to shower. So when I go now, there was blood in my dress. So my dad's like, are you okay? Do you cut yourself? Why Why is there blood in your, your dress? So I panicked now. I said, yeah, I cut my I cut my foot on a tree or something. So he's like, okay, to throw it off in the same. But in that time, my heart was beating. I was like freaking out inside. I was like, oh my God, like, oh my God, like, oh my God, like, I'm dying. So I remember my brother came in and he's like, you're gonna cut yourself. You're having your, your, your period. And I'm like, shut up. And he's like, I'm gonna tell daddy. And I'm like, no, you don't tell him. So 
Anyways, no, I start figuring out, say, I have to put on a pad. So I remember I had the pad from school, so I put on one of the pad. So when the pad ran out, now I'm like, shoot, what am I going to do? Still didn't go to my dad and tell him that I was on my period because I was embarrassed and I was, like, scared. But I was, like, nervous out of my, my mind. So, anyways, I said, I'm going to be taking care of this. So I decided to get some cloth. Yes, people cloth. They were clean. I cut them up and I padded up, padded up, padded up so it's thick enough to be a pad. And I use that as my pad. So I have like a bunch of them. So when, when I have to change, I would change that, wash that one, and then I would put on the next one because I was having a man that I ain't telling my daughter like I'm bleeding down there. Like there's no way because I was like, I don't want him to know or whatever. Like it's so crazy and as I said a story I'm looking at it and I'm saying there's a lot of girls out there that experience this and they don't know who to turn to or who to talk to because they're embarrassed because we don't teach we don't teach our kids or teach each other that it's okay like period is a beautiful thing it's nothing for you to be embarrassed about it's nothing for you to be ashamed of it happens to all of us and all women has walk of life have to go through this I remember I went through it and then it went away and then all of a sudden then it didn't come for a while and then I think it was like months after months or six months after weighing it came back again so I so when one day now I realized I was eating ice so I realized oh my god when I eat ice if I sit and eat ice the ice will, will stop the bleeding. So I started to, every time when it happened, I will sit and I will go to the shop and I buy a big bag of ice. If you live in Jamaica, you know, you used to go to the shop and buy ice when you're making juice. So I went and buy one big bag full of ice. I'm still gonna eat the ice, me eat the ice, me eat the ice, me eat the ice, till me get ice, the brain freeze, me eat, me eat, me eat. Then we realized they only work one time, you know, work the second time. So I was like, backside, this is not an hour work for me. So what the hell me they a thing to do? So after a while I did it and then what happened now, I got away with it for a good year because I said it only came one and two times. So then time came when I was supposed to come to to Canada now. I should say my dad had this, before I came to Canada, my dad had this girlfriend and she used to come over. She would help take care of us. I didn't tell her either too because she talked to mom. So one day it, it messed my underwear. So I washed it, but I guess it didn't wash properly. So there was more. So she saw my underwear because you know you're hanging outside. So she catch it and she went to my dad. She's like, my dad's a dread. She said, dread, dread. You used to say your dad to us here, period. And my dad said, what are you talking about? And she's like, look here, look, you know, see blood on our thing. So then they make a big thing. I say, I sure say her, period, she appeared, she has see her. I know somebody um, out there, I, 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 I touch her up. You know, you know, ignorant man, that's how they think, father. Dad, I'm not calling you ignorant, but sometimes you were. So, you know, because that's the first thing they can think of is that something is happening to you. So then they come and they ask me and I said, you know, so my dad looked and said, you know what, if, um, if you, you know, I, no, I feel bad to your mother in the day, she can talk to you, can look how you have this, you, 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 you didn't even, I didn't even know, and you couldn't even come and talk to nobody, then the something hurt my heart, you know, say, yeah, I got you then, sitting there, I forgot you it alone, and, and, I, and I, I was still like embarrassed when he's talking about, because I'm like, oh my God, somebody saved me, this is, this is crazy, but, that time come he look at me and he's like okay if you don't feel comfortable talking to me whenever it's the time of the month you know just take money and go buy a pad and after tell me just go take money and buy a pad so whenever it happened now i usually just go take the money and then i will buy the pad and then it, it didn't come for a while and after that i came to canada when i was coming to canada i didn't i didn't have my period but i remember when i was doing my you have to do like tests and check up and all those stuff so when i was going to do my medical i remember they asked me oh did you see your period so i was like no i haven't seen my period i was lying because i didn't want my um my aunt to know because i was going to get to my aunt to know that i had my period when i had so when i came to canada now and i was living with my aunt she never really gave me any pass by that time i was like one month before my my 
14th birthday. I remember one night now my period came and my cousin was there and I was like, oh I need period pack. So my cousin's like, oh you have to go to my aunt and, and get her the pad from her, she had the pad. So I'm like, I don't want to go tell her, but she's like, go. So anyway, I went to her and I said, hey, can I have some pads? And she's like, you want some what? pads? So she picked up the phone and she called her aunt and everyone. She's like, oh my God, Julian had her period. I was so embarrassed. If the hurt could open up and swallow me in, it could open up and swallow me in. That's how much embarrassing I was. So to me, you now I felt like for both of my period story, I, w I had the most like traumatic experience. Because I was looking like, I understand it's like the biggest moment for her, but she didn't know that I already went through that biggest moment and I had my past, like past history from it. And then now she come, I had it on. So I was kind of like embarrassed, but I kind of swallowed it up. She gave me the pad and from then it was fine. But growing up, I remember I was very shield when it comes to period i wouldn't talk about it i would just try to make sure that i do the right thing i was kind of like secretive when it comes to my period my period come you wouldn't even know i have my period because i would make sure i follow everything and, and, and hide it if you look in the, if you look in that in that garbage to find evidence of me being at my period you ain't gonna find it you know how sometimes you go to people's house and you go in your washroom at the minute you look down you can say yep somebody is in this house is seeing their their rag or seeing their red or seeing their no i was like discreet i would wrap it up in tissue paper which i'm going to touch topic on i would like put it if the toilet paper was finished i would stick it inside the toilet paper fold it up so it's like neatly secure and from then i just built up this phobia where i hate seeing like period stuff just hanging around and stuff so like when i get my story out of my way maybe there's somebody thinking like what is period period our menstruation is a it's when your uterus so when you're becoming a woman so you know this is what happened when you start seeing your period you can get pregnant you can have babies because now in your body yes so menstruation is when yes as I said you're becoming a woman so your body starts producing a lining inside your uterus and form eggs so normally what happens is each month whenever you have your period is your body releasing all that eggs and lining from your body to, to clean the inside of your body out. If you were say to have a kid then that's what happened with everything. That's a different story. <laughs> you will farm a baby. But what I find is a lot of us as parents don't like to sit down and educate our kids the proper the proper way about menstruation making them feel comfortable to come to you whenever that moment happened because you got to remember period is like the biggest moment in a woman life like that is like a, a moment that you can never experience again like because after that you will always have your period but the first time having your period is like supposed to be one of that most celebrated or beautiful moment for a woman it shouldn't be the most scariest moments so when they look back they have that scary experience just like for me now when i look back i always look back at that scary moment and shake my head like oh my god i can't believe i went through that and that's something i tell myself now that i don't want my daughter to go through so i'm going to educate her from early about period what is she supposed to do what she's supposed to expect you know and all these things and that's what i'm going to do and the other thing I want to say too, sometimes when we don't talk to our kids about these things, it's almost like we're thinking in ourselves that we're protecting our kids, but we're not protecting our kids. We're actually causing more harm than we're doing good because we're now uneducating our kids. So they now don't know what to do eventually when they do have kids and know like what they should pass on to their kids. So that's something that you should keep in mind that instead of hiding information, share the information so kids can learn to be comfortable with their self. So one of the things too we need to teach our, our kids too is when it comes to period, when it comes, the 
first time when you have it, it's one of those unusual moments. You will not understand because you never went through before. Your body going to feel weird. You're going to find yourself craving stuff. You might find yourself being miserable. You might find where your stomach is hurting you and you can't explain. Your back is hurting you. It could be that you even get a headache, migraine, and, and you don't realize. And then after a while, you might go inside. Say you go pee or not even that. You might be sitting there and you feel a gush down there and you're wondering what it is. And then when you went to go to the washroom, you realize that you're bleeding. You start panicking, thinking like, oh my God, you're dying. But you're not dying. It's just that your body is releasing that lining and the egg from inside your body. So it has to clean out. The other thing that we need to educate our kids on is the difference between the pad and the tampon. I don't recommend tampon to young girls, especially girls that are not, hopefully are not sexually active or not involved in those kind of stuff. Because if you're a virgin, you shouldn't use this because one of the things they always say is this stuff will kind of affect you down there. And normally, like you have to be careful because you have tampon where you can have tampon shock syndrome. Meaning that if you don't change these after a few hours, you can set up yourself to get like a toxic, toxic bacteria in your body down there that can be sometimes fatal. A lot of people thinking like, oh, it's not true. It never happened because it never happened to somebody. But this stuff is very, is very serious. So if you're gonna decide to wear pad, me tampon, make sure that you're changing it frequently and you don't have it on for a long period of time or, or even. And I hope actually by saying this that you're not wearing pad and tampon for a long time. At least you're trying to at least change it. Depend on your flow. You're changing your pad and your tampon every maybe two, one or two hours the max three hours because if you don't change your pad and you're sitting in that pad all day you're gonna start to smell the last thing you want to know is you sitting there and you're smelling like your people looking at you and be like mm, what's that smell that smells stink you don't want that it's not a nice smell so make sure that you're changing your your pad so you stay clean one of the other thing is, oh my god, I forgot. I'll come back to it. You have to make sure too that you're wearing the proper undies. When it's the time of the month, thumbs and all those stuff ain't gonna work unless you're gonna be wearing tampon. And if you're gonna wear tampon, even if you have on thumbs, I would suggest you put on a panty liner. Put on a panty liner on the thumb just in case if you didn't insert this properly and you have an accident it's there to to catch it so it prevents you from an embarrassing moment because the last thing you want to do is have an embarrassing moment whether it's outside of work at school or wherever it is the other thing you want to make sure is to wear always wear a dark underwear whenever the time of the month put away the light underwear like the white and the cream and all those stuff put it away till after your period because accidents do happen and sometimes you might be wearing the pad and it shift and it move and it mess up your underwear and then you have to to clean it and you maybe don't even clean it properly to get the 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 blood out so I would suggest to always wear a dark underwear that's the best because at least if you have an accident it doesn't show up and all those stuff as much so that's one of my recommendation the other thing I wanted to suggest too is how to choose your pad when you're going out there you're buying a pad you need to keep in consideration is your period a light medium or large are you having a heavy period do you normally have a medium period and do you normally have a light period if you have a light period sister amen to you because trust me there is a lot of women line up behind me that would so trust that from you for a second or even borrow that light period because trust me there is some women out there who have period where every half an hour they have to change because their period is that heavy so if you are a light or a medium period like take it as a blessing because you were the lucky one so what I'm trying so as I said that this is what I should say so when you're going out there read the package of the pad 
you have a thin pack pad like this for instance is thin I don't have any thick ones so when you go out there make sure you read the label the label normally will show, suggest to you if you have a medium if you have a light to medium you can use a pad like this if also with the tampon when you fold they have tampon sizes for when for either if you're in sports if you're going swimming if you're going swimming say for instance you're you're a swimmer and you have your period and you need to go swim they have tampon make for swimming and all those stuff so it protects you while you're in the water they have big thick thick pads i'll put the picture here so you can see of the pad that they have for women that have really heavy period so for me i will give you a backstory i have fibroids fibroids is very common in black 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 race or i should say it's very pronounced in middle middle eastern and african american woman so fibroid is like a a bellamine kind of like growth cyst, or you would call it that is growth on your anywhere in your body in your uterus area and stuff that cause you to have heavy bleeding the other one is sometimes you have uterus cyst too that is kind of like the same thing as a fiber but they are different and those ones cause a lot of girls to have really heavy period so if you find yourself where your period is very 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 heavy and you don't you're young you don't understand and you're going through a lot of pad in a day I would suggest for you to go and see a doctor and talk to them for instance because normally what happens when you have your period you have symptoms like you have the stomach ache, the headache. Sometimes when I was younger, before I had my kids, I remember whenever my period came, I used to get very fatigued. Like I would sometimes, like when my period come and if I have to work, I have to call work and say to them like I'm gonna be late first when my when I feel my period coming to make my period come in first before I go to work because all of a sudden I feel so fatigued where I will pass out. So, so one time it happened to me at work where my period came and I was working and I had to go and sit in the garbage bin because I passed out for a second because that's how bad my period was. It wasn't even say the cramping, it was just the feeling I got when I had my period. So those are some of the things. I'm not saying this to scare you as a woman, but I'm just saying to you that these are things that we have to tell our kids about period, that period comes in different forms and shapes. And the other thing that I want to say is you have to always keep an extra pad in your bag with you. So if, whether you're, you're a person who goes to school or you, you are working, make sure you have extra pad in your bag. That way you don't have to be going to everybody and say, hey, I'm on my period. Do you have an extra pad? Because sometimes you don't want people to know that you're on your period. Because sometimes when people know you're on the period, any little thing you do, they're like, oh, hmm, he must be on, she must be on her period. Why is she acting like that? No, I'm not. I just, I just, I, I just can't deal with it. Simple. So that's one of the thing. And even too, one of the things that my dad, even though he's a man, always teach me is that even as a woman, always carry an extra underwear just in case. Because sometimes this period thing, and I'm going to be frank and bold to you. That period would just like creep up on your behind and just all of a sudden you're you're pumping gas. I had one time I was pumping gas and next thing I feel Psh! and I was like no she didn't and then again you go Psh! and I'm trust me from the gas like from the gas station I was a mess. I had to go home and go straight into the shower. That's how messy I was. Like my my period will come and it just don't have no behavior. And whatever the reason is because I have fibroids. So now when I get my period, my period is like hurting my stomach. Like my stomach is like killing me. Like my my head is hurting me. Sometimes it feel like something is down there, like tying up and cutting up. But as time go, I got used to it. But it's it's not fun. But it happened to us. And that's it. And you have some women who never experience no symptom, nothing. When it comes, it's like beauty to them. It's like nothing. They just crave some ice cream or crave something sweet. They eat chocolate. They just have their little period party and just lounge and they're good. And there's some women who can't even get up off the bed who have to have a heat pad. They have to stuck it on their stomach and and a 
and have to wait out that five weeks before they can move on. And then some women just have the mind. But whatever category you're going to, it's 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 period. We just have to get used to it, live with it. If some of it that you find that you can live with it, there is always some Advil or Tylenol that you can take. Sometimes they do have like menstruation pill. I forgot the name of it because I haven't used it. So I think it's my doll or something like that that you can also use whenever it's that time of the month. There is stuff. If you find that the pain is too much for you to bear, talk to a doctor. Sometimes it's good for you to even drink some herbal tea. It will help to smooth the, the pain and so forth. There is help. Don't give up. So I think this video is so long. I think I might have to come back and do a next one. But one of the thing I want to quickly say before I close this stuff, and I hope hope that you guys gather some information. And one of the thing I take away from this is talk to your girls. It's never too early and never too late for you to talk to them about period. Talk to them about how they're experiencing. Make them feel comfortable to come and talk to you when it's your time to go. Teach them how to properly dispose of the, the top of the top. If you're using pad and it's that time of the month, when you open the pad, it's like this. It has the wing, right? It has the wing. It has the wing and it's on your let me get a underwear. I use my daughter underwear. So you have the underwear, right? So you make sure you flip the underwear over. So if you sit in, you flip the underwear over, you place it there so it's flat like that. Take the wing and flip it under. Take the other wing, flip it under, and then it's supposed to sit like this. This should be your underwear and the wings. When you're buying pad, one of the other thing I forgot to suggest, make sure you always buy pad that have wings. They sell some pad that don't have wings. I don't like them because depending on what you're wearing, depending on how you move, if you're running, sometimes the pad can shift and that can cause you to have a mishap and have issue. So once the pad you take it off, say you're in the washroom now, you're going to take off the pad. You take off the pad, you fold up the pad like this. This is how you fold it up. You fold it up, you bend the flap, and you bend the flap, and now it's like this. Like that, right? The other thing you do now is paper, toilet paper or tis tissue paper, whatever the one call it. Toilet paper, tissue paper, and the paper, whatever. Ask paper, it's all there. You take the paper and you fold it. You take off some and then you wrap it. So you shouldn't be grossed out by your own stuff. This is your body coming out. So you should never be gross. And I find that sometimes too, they find that they're gross. So they just take off the pad and throw it down and they don't fold it up. No, you fold it up, you use a paper towel and you do it like that. And then you throw it in the toilet, in the, the garbage. Now you're discreet. Same thing with the, the, the tampon. If it's the tampon, you take off the tampon, you roll it up, roll it up, roll it up. And then you cover it up, cover it up, and then you throw it in the garbage. That's how you do it. So don't just take off your pad and then throw it in the garbage. That is gross. That is disgusting. That is just nasty. And at Julian School, we don't deal with that. No, no, no. Nobody wants to see your time of the month. Nobody wants to see your rag. Keep your rag to yourself, okay? So make sure you fold that up when you're doing it. And one of the other things I totally forgot that I wanted to say is, oh, I wanted to tell you how to do the period check. How much of you guys know how to do the period check? When you're out and about and you you walk in, walk in, make sure you go like this and you bend down. You pretend like you're looking at your foot and you look under like this, like that, and then you look like that to make sure that you don't have any any mishap or any issue or sometimes you can even look behind you like that to see or or if you're out if you're out with your girlfriends and 
I'm gonna fix my hair. If you're all one of your girlfriends or anything, just say to them, girl, is there anything on my um, pants, you know? And your girl should have you. If you're all with a girlfriend and you're messed up and she don't tell you, get rid of that friend because she's not your friend, okay? And those are the things that you do. Make sure that you're changing really often so you don't have any this out. I, I might have left a lot of the things out, but this video can't be as long for me to put in everything. But what I want to say is, before I close, I want to say thank you guys for watching my video. Hopefully this was very helpful to somebody out there. Hopefully my story kind of touch you guys and make you see the importance of talking to your girls. I keep stretching it. In. Explain to them the whole procedure of how to deal with their menstruation. One, how to um, put on a pad. Two, what kind of underwear they should wear. No thongs, granny panty, regular panty. Three, how to properly dispose of the thing. Yes, there is even grown women who still don't know the properly um, dispose of it. But I won't get into that. But anyways, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy my video. Don't forget to check out my other videos that I have. And I will see you on the next one. And yeah, by the way, you're watching and you watch all the way to the end. How about you hit that subscribe button so you could come back and see me and we can talk more. Alright, bye!